Hello, this is Ron from Bronze Drone and RC Channel. Today we have an exciting new product for the Hubson Zeno drone. Um, it's a, um, a battery charger adapter that will allow you to use your, um, your hobby grade charger such as this instead of the um, charger that uh, comes with the Hubson. So uh, we'll be right back. Let's get into this video. Um, I uh, somebody posted this on Facebook and one of the many groups that I'm in. Um, couple, I'm in a couple Zeno groups and a couple RC groups in general. And please visit my uh, uh, Facebook uh, group RC World. Um, so anyhow, I sent a link to a company called. I have their card here. Uh, Progressive RC. Um, they sell on eBay. Uh, they're based in uh, Seattle, Washington. Um, their card says they do electric power, exceeding expe expectations. Uh, they have a website here and a contact uh, email, which I will um, post uh, down below in the uh, contents of the video. So here's a little card. So I want to shout them out. So in the plug they sent, they have the... Um, these style connectors here to plug into the um, side of the hobby charger. Um, sorry, I don't know all my uh, ports and stuff here. They have this is the um, little uh, four pin stuff for um, a, a three cell battery. And this is, um, again, I'm sorry, I don't know my connectors, but uh, there they are. So normally, let's start from the beginning here. So normally you would charge your Hubson Zeno battery. You get an adapter like this uh, in the box with the controller. So you get these pins here. So you would plug this into this underside of the battery like this. And then you would take this connector here and you would plug it into um, the kind of standard Hubson uh, balance charger you get with uh, you know their various drones. This looks very similar to what you get with the um, 501. But you, uh, you plug that in here. And then you, of course, plug this into the wall. Now this, you know, works quite well. I mean, some people complain that it gets real hot, and it does get warm. But uh, this got warm too. But um, so this gets real warm. But the big thing is, it could take over three hours to charge this thing up. Uh, you know, uh, if anybody gets uh, a charge in less than three hours, let me know. So how this piece here makes things better is. Okay, you take, uh, you know, uh, this, uh, this cord here, and you still need the piece that Hubson sends. You still need this piece to uh, plug into your battery here. But then you take uh, this connector here, and you uh, plug it into uh, this end here. Sorry, I don't know all my plug names, but... Um, Plug that in there. So then you take your, uh, this is the uh, IMAX uh, hobby charger from Sky RC. Uh, this is one of the most popular um, hobby grade chargers on the market. And it does work very well, but this isn't a review of the IMAX. Uh, there's, uh, I'm gonna say, hundreds of thousands of reviews on uh, YouTube. So go take a look if you wanna know how to use a um, IMAX charger. So, uh, right down here, they have the ports for uh, these uh, connectors here. I think they call these banana-style connectors. <laughs> so, you have a black and a red. And then you have your um, various balance ports over there. So, you would plug this one into the one in the middle here. <laughs> so, then you have, you're all set up. You're all connected in there. So, um, you know, then you would plug this into the wall and you would set it uh, for the uh, specs of this battery, which is a uh, 3000 amp, 11.4 um, three cell uh, battery. So you would set the connections up here. I'll probably, uh, maybe I'll make another little piece of the video here where I'm showing me uh, adjusting the uh, settings on the uh, IMAX here. So uh, I hope you uh, got something out of this video and... Um, 
you know, for my friend Brian Singleton, who uh, has recently got the Zeno. That's true to own reviews by, uh, by the way, anybody doesn't know, doesn't know Brian over there, go over to subscribe to his channel. He's got one of the best reviewers on YouTube. But uh, his big complaint was it took over three hours to, to charge the battery, and he was fair on that. It does, but uh, I haven't timed this with my stopwatch or anything, but uh, uh, this charges it in half the time, I'm going to say around an hour and a half rather than uh, three hours. Now, I haven't flown it, the Zeno with it yet. Uh, supposedly, this gives it a better balance charge, so you should be able to... Uh, Maybe get a few more minutes of flight out with a, a fully uh, charged and balanced, uh, uh, you know, ch uh, charge of the battery. So we'll see. I'm going to do a test flight and uh, let you know if I think I get any increase in uh, flight time performance. But, um, okay, uh, we, we may do a little add-on bonus video at the end here of how to set this charger up. But uh, if not, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, we're back for the uh, a little wrap-up here on how to use the... Uh, IMAX charger here uh, to um, give your uh, Zeno battery a better balance charge. All right, so we already discussed uh, this piece here, so um, we're going to plug this back in here. All right, and here's the, uh, the battery settings that we're going to shoot for here, if I can focus here, um, which, yeah, there we go. 3,000 amp, 11.4 um, volt. Um, three cell battery, so um, okay, we got that piece on, now we're gonna take um, this piece here and uh, plug it in like so. Uh, we're gonna take the um, banana uh, style things here, so, and uh, we're gonna plug those in. Then we're gonna put the balance uh, port thing up here. Let's get that flipped over. The wires are fighting me here. There we go. We got that pl all plugged in. So um, now we're going to start the uh, sequence here. So uh, let's see. Let's hit start here. Now we already have it on um, the proper amps over here. Three, because I did last time. Um, it's on 11.1 volt three cell. I, I it can't. As far as I know, I can't switch that to 11.4, so I just left it on 11.1. If anybody knows how to change that point to uh, 4 rather than 1, uh, let me know. So, um, then we want to hit our start button here. And, of course, it, it wants me to reset it, but I don't have to since it's already on the right settings. Um, and then it's... And it's telling me the battery's full because I've already charged it. So see how good this thing is. So we'll just hit the stop here. But uh, so that's how you set your um, IMAX up. If uh, if you don't know how to use the IMAX uh, charger, uh, I'm certainly not the expert at it. But there's said there's thousands of videos on YouTube by people that are much better at using their um, IMAX uh, B6 um, version to um, hobby grade chargers so uh, go please check out some of their videos um, trying to recommend something off the top of my head um, I think Tigo RC did a good job with it but um, all right um, hope that help helpful to anybody out there who's considering uh, getting uh, uh, you know these uh, connector wires or, or doing it at home you can uh, the QC guy did his own um, you know, he made his own version of this wire himself. Uh, so if you're kind of handy with wires and stuff like that, you can do this on your own. But all right, um, this is Ron. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.